After the Rams' victory in Week 1, Sean McVay provides injury updates. The Los Angeles Rams defeated the Seattle Seahawks on Sunday, and they did so with almost any injury worries. No one was harmed severely enough to have to miss the upcoming game against the San Francisco 49ers, although there were the expected bumps and bruises from a game. On Monday, Sean McVay gave some updates regarding injuries, including some problems for Joe Noteboom and Puka Nakua. Okello Witherspoon had a rib and hip contusion, Nakua suffered a minor rib injury, Jason Taylor too suffered a groin injury on special teams, and Noteboom sprained his ankle but didn't miss a snap. Again, McKay stated this week's game against the 49ers is likely to feature all four of the players, which is fantastic news for the Rams since they will need every player available to take on the division favorites. The most important lesson the NFL imparts to us is that week one is a fake. After a wild week one Sunday, I offer that as a prologue to the inaugural power rankings of the year. The Dallas Cowboys destroyed the New York Giants, Baker Mayfield defeated the Vikings in Minnesota, and Tua Tagovailoa tossed for over 500 yards as the Los Angeles Rams thrashed the Seattle Seahawks. Three plays into his eagerly anticipated Jets debut on Monday night, 40-year-old quarterback Aaron Rodgers was forced to leave the game with what is thought to be an Achilles injury. Defense of the Jets was able to rally the team and lead them to an unexpected victory over the Buffalo Bills, but when Rodgers exited Highmark Stadium on a cart, the Jets' Super Bowl chances were probably dead. The preseason favorite Pittsburgh Steelers were destroyed by the San Francisco 49ers to kick off their Super Bowl run, and the Jordan Love era in Green Bay got off to a flying start as the Packers destroyed the Bears 38-20 at Soldier Field. Week 1 lied to us, but this is what it said. 49ers of San Francisco, the 49ers came out and crushed the preseason favorite Pittsburgh Steelers after the Trey Lance cloud had been lifted and Nick Bosa had been signed for a five-year contract. The 49ers are the fullest club in the NFL when they're healthy. It's the NFL. A versatile wrecking ball that can destroy opponents whatsoever is necessary. Philadelphia Eagles, on 32 pass rushes against the Patriots on Sunday, Jalen Carter recorded six pressures and a sack. I bring this up for no specific purpose. Oh, Jordan Love made a third and long conversion. Kansas City Chiefs, Matt Nagy's first attempt as Patrick Mahomes' play caller was a painful one. The Chiefs will be okay, but with Nagy in charge and no established wideouts, the challenge has increased for the NFL's new face. Dallas Cowboys, a road victory with a 40-point shutout. You have my attention now, Cowboys. Tua Tagovailoa passed for 466 yards and three touchdowns for the Miami Dolphins. In Miami's victory over the Chargers in a shootout. Your very first MVP leader has arrived much too early. Detroit Lions There is no better way for the Lions to begin the year. They defeated the reigning champions on the road while displaying the brilliance of their much maligned draft class. But are they legitimate, or will this turn out to be a Week 1 illusion? Baltimore Ravens The Ravens defeated the helpless Texans in Week 1 despite not playing particularly well. A victory is a victory. But Todd Munkin's revamped defense still needs to work out a lot of its wrinkles. Deshaun Watson still doesn't appear to be a $250 million man, according to the Cleveland Browns. However, if the Browns' defense is to be the Ravens of 2000 in disguise, it won't work. Matter. Green Bay Packers, Jordan Love didn't accomplish anything particularly noteworthy, but it was sufficient to carry on from Aaron Rodgers' management of the Bears. Please don't let the New York Jets fans watch Zach Wilson for 16 more games. That's cruel, you know. I observe that Brandon Staley hasn't yet improved the Los Angeles Chargers' defense. Cincinnati Bengals, you can blame Rust for the Bengals' loss against a Brown squad that has a very uncertain quarterback. They will improve, but Rusty Joe Cool may have a difficult first month. Calvin Ridley will be to Trevor Lawrence what A.J. Brown was to Jalen Hurts for the Jacksonville Jaguars. Josh Allen was for Stephon Diggs. Buffalo Bills, the only thing left for the Bills to accomplish was play error-free football after Aaron Rodgers was injured. Instead, Josh Allen became the Josh Allen of 2018 and mishandled the ball four times. A night that is seriously concerning for the Bills' Super Bowl hopes. The New England Patriots had encouraging indications all over the place on Sunday. Mac Jones looked sharp, the defense was strong, and Tom Brady said he would be a Patriot for life. The offense was fixed, though that's all good, the scoreboard didn't reflect it.